DPS is defined as damage per second, but in Genshin Impact, when you insert that acronym of DPS in front of a character's name, you're making a bold statement that within your team, that character will be doing the majority of the damage to your enemies. Xian Yun is an animal support character in Genshin Impact, meaning she shouldn't be doing most of the damage for your team. So how does someone like you or me create the best DPS Xian Yun in Genshin Impact? Do you just get a credit card and start swiping away until you get C6 and a 5 star weapon? Do you pray for mercy in order to get godlike artifacts? Do you study the game mechanics and outscale the game? Or is it all the above? Well, let us find out and see how to make the best DPS on you in Genshin Impact. <laughs> Alright, so today's objective is to absolutely destroy the Spiral Abyss first half with a hyper carry DPS C0 Xian Yun team. I want to go over my personal best build, what I think her best team is, and show you a showcase of the Spiral Abyss first half. So when deciding for a team, the first thing that comes to mind since we're trying to make Xian Yun a hyper carry, I want one of my party members to have a Noblesse Oblige set, that way we can give an extra attack percent when we do their burst. I want another support that can utilize tenacity of the middle of and the other character support artifacts that can be a flex, whatever you think is better for your team. And so with the artifact sets I just mentioned, who do you think are the perfect supports for this team? Oh yeah, you guessed it, it's Furin on Tenacity, Bennett or Farazan on the Noblesse. And I have a full Sag disclaimer, my Farazan is only C4. And guys, I absolutely do not want to spend any more money, so it's not worth for me going to C6 never worth spending any money don't be like me so all that to say is that the damage you see in this video can definitely be enhanced or be better if you have c6 followers on but before i go any further i know you're probably tired of seeing bandit as one of the main supports for this team but in this video i'm gonna spice it up a little bit and actually explain how i utilize my shenha to synergize with her master bird mommy so stick around for that rotation explanation later because for genshin boomer hands like myself it's just easier with shenha compared to having to use bandit the last thing i want to say about this hyper carry team is that if you happen to have it you could potentially use gene as a third animal support character on his team this would help with any type of animal energy recharge issues but this version of the team can only compete somewhat with bennett if you have a c4 gene i am only making this suggestion if you want to waifu up your team a little bit more in case you don't want bennett for aesthetic reasons but now that we have established the main core of the team for dps xianyun let's go ahead and jump into how i settled on my current xianyun build when deciding for artifact sets, it's pretty easy for DPS Xian Yun. You have Desert Pavilion Chronicle. If you're able to fit a charge attack into your rotation, it would be great. If not, either a combination of double attack percent or attack percent and animal damage bonus would be great. But honestly, it just depends what better substats you have and then you personally testing out your damage. Personally, for my account, after some testing, the best artifacts I have for Xian Yun are double attack percent. So I am going to rock this combination and here are my substats. My weapon of choice is her signature weapon. It has a lot to do with the aesthetic, but also the plunging attack and the energy regeneration it gives. If you do not have her signature weapon, other 5 star weapons that come to mind, first would be the Lost Prayer of the Sacred Wind. Because you will be doing some on-field DPS by plunging, you can take advantage of the elemental damage bonus it gives. Kagua's variety is also a good one because it's super easy for you to get the buff from the weapon because all you have to do is press Xian Yun's skill 3 times and it will automatically give you the damage bonus so you can basically have it 100% uptime. Of course, with these weapons you would possibly have to change your builds just to balance out your stats and that goes for other crit damage or crit rate main stat weapons a five star weapon that has the same main stat as her signature is the skyward atlas and i will quickly show you the raw damage comparison from the weapons i mentioned using my build and changing a circlet for the lost prayer that way you can just get the idea of the minute differences between the weapons yeah skyward scatter seize the skies yeah, Yeah, skyward, scatter. Yeah, skyward, scatter. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Skyward. Nope. Got him. 
Nope. Yeah, Skyward, got him. Nope. Yeah, Skyward, got Nope. Yeah, Skyward, got him. Seize the skies. Yeah. So overall, with max buffs, the Lost Prayer build was the best. But because my energy recharge sucks, it's more practical for me to use her signature weapon. And now let me go ahead and show you how I use Shenha instead of Bennett. The main reason why I like Shenha over Bennett is because we get to freeze the enemies. One of Xian Yu's weaknesses with plunging is that she is susceptible to getting interrupted and sometimes the enemies move away from you, which kind of sucks. But if we're able to freeze them with Shenha, use her buffs she provides with her elemental skill, we are able to do a pretty neat rotation. Of course, I know what you're all thinking, that if you fight bosses, you can't freeze them. Kind of sound. And this is where Bennett or C4 Gene is the better option. But let me go ahead and just show you what you can do if you do not find any bosses and can utilize Freeze. The first thing I use is Shan Yu's elemental skill for some damage and the timing will help me later. Then I will accept the fact that I will not be buffing Farina's elemental skill and just use it along with her burst because it lasts for so long. Then I tap Shenha's elemental skill giving 10% elemental skill damage and burst damage to herself. Aruzan. And we can even squeeze in Shan Yu's elemental skill after using her burst. Before I start plunging away, I switch back to Shenha real quick, hold her elemental skill in order to give 15% plunging damage bonus to Xian Yun. And if you give Shenha Favonius Lance, you can also use this chance to feed white particles to Xian Yun, especially if you're struggling with energy recharge like myself. And after that, you plunge away and you finish off the rotation with Xian Yun's elemental skill. So overall, not a bad rotation and one I've been enjoying a lot. Is it going to clear the Abyss first half faster than Bennett or C4 Gene? No, they are pretty much the same with the testing I did. But like I mentioned earlier, my boomer hands have an easier time with this team. But another question is, can you do something like this with Rosaria and Mona instead of Shanghai and Farina? Maybe, but I didn't test it out. I might test it out when I do a DPS plunge Mona video. But anyways, for now, let's just go ahead and destroy the Spiral Abyss first half. Oh! <laughs> 